Welcome to English with Alex, uh, where I teach you phrasal verbs based on the game called Phrase It. So today's phrasal verbs are call off, call up, and call back. So listen and repeat. Call off, call up, and call back. So to call off something in English actually means to end or cancel a planned event. For example, we called off the soccer game because of the thunderstorm, or the meeting was called off because everyone couldn't attend. Another one for call back is to return a phone call. Uh, so if I get a phone call from the doctor or um, I, a friend calls me and says, hey, can you call me back? They leave a voicemail. What I would say is, okay, she needs to call her mom back. That's one example. Another sentence could be, did you call the office back to see if you got the job, um, if you were doing a job interview? The other one for call up is, the definition for that one is to attempt or try to contact another person by using the phone or maybe an online call like Skype or uh, Facebook video messenger or something like that. Uh, it's to try and, and contact someone. So if I'm going to call you up, I'm going to try and contact you. So for example, we could say we're planning a party. Uh, we could say we called up our neighbors to schedule a party. I called up my best friend uh, to catch up on life. Or I called up my dad to see if he knew how to solve this problem. Uh, so those are three examples of when we use call with a preposition in English. And so they're spoken frequently in how American English speakers pronounce and practice their English. So again, please listen and repeat. I'll say the words, and then I'll say example sentences that you can listen to. Call off. We called off the soccer game because of the thunderstorm. The meeting was called off because everyone couldn't attend. Call back. Did you call the office back to see if you got the job? She needs to call her mom back. And the next one, call up. We called up our neighbors to schedule a party. I called up my best friend to catch up on life. Thank you for listening. And if this video encouraged you, please click below for my Phrase It game as a resource for you to practice in your classroom or with your friends to practice English.